I love JavaScript, but man, was it hard to get used to it. Here are the tips I wish I knew before jumping into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk about JavaScript. I'm sure you've heard about it, and I'm sure you've tried to learn it or you're in the process of learning it, but today I wanna to give you tips that I learned over a course of two years that I wish somebody had told me way before. But before we get into it, I want to, uh, if you're new here, I want to introduce myself. My name is Paola. People call me Poli, that's why it's Politian. This channel is trying to help software engineers like me uh, make it easier to make it into this world because it's hard. So make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into it. I feel like JavaScript is advertised as a quick language to get up and start with and it's really easy to understand and it is. But there's a huge misunderstanding that I was forced to find out the wrong way. I mean the wrong way, the long way. Um, when I started it was super easy to pick up. I, I like picked it up in like a week or two, but I didn't know what was coming for me. While I was learning it and started to code and started to do front end apps, um, I started finding that a lot of my code was like erroring out. Like it was always like, I would type some code, it would work, and then five minutes later I would put something else and it would get an error of undefined or some other red error that I don't even remember or not, I don't know. I really felt like that scene from Spongebob. That's exactly how I felt. And I feel like somebody should have told me I should have learned it better instead of just being like, oh yeah, it's super easy. Like just learn the, the data structures and the constants and you're good to go and you're fine, right? No, mm -mm. don't get tricked into it. Let me tell you. Tip number one, once you finish learning the basics, so the if statements, the variables such as const, let, var, um, objects, that's all the data structure. So once you get all that and understand how that works, do not stop there. Don't be like, oh, easy, I got it. No, 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 don't do that. Make sure you understand how it works, okay? Because JavaScript is all about knowing how it works under the hood, okay? Do I need to say that again? It's all about knowing how it works under the hood. With JavaScript, you have things like what the difference is between let, var, and const. Really know what the difference is. Know their hoistings, know their scopes, know why you would use one over the other. Um, know wh how, what's, a, what's a prototype in an object and why would you use it? Um, why they're passed by reference. What does that mean, passed by reference? Um, everything is an object. I remember hearing that all the time when I started. I was like, what do you mean everything is an object? A function doesn't look like an object to me. It's closures, closures were hard too. All these things, they're like small little, like small little things that you kind of like pass over when you're learning JavaScript and you're like, oh, I, I can wing it. I don't really need to know. You do. I'm telling you, you do. And if somebody wants to tell me that I'm wrong, whatever, okay. Once I sat down and really understood it, I went from like always like getting errors every 10 minutes to like getting errors every hour or two like and that's incredible nice long period of time that you can code without getting an error because you messed up it's an amazing feeling because it's like you can just code you know what you're doing you know how you're saving stuff you know how you're accessing stuff you know how you're passing it around so you get bigger momentum when coding and it's so much more rewarding instead of like having to keep tripping on yourself so once i actually did that i i really think that's when i started to level up and get better as a software engineer so listen to me another benefit of really learning javascript is when you go to interviews this was like a really cool like sweet surprise. Since I understood the language, I could answer any questions regarding like a trivial question, like an actual like, oh, do this, blah, blah, like do this map, blah, 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 blah. I could, if they ask me how, like, like a trick question where they give you some code and you're supposed to guess the output, easy peasy. Before I'd be like, uh, I don't know. But once I sat down and I knew how it worked, I was like, okay, I know JavaScript. I know how, I know how she, I'm gonna call it a she. I know how she works. So ain't nobody gonna trick me. And so 
I was going to these interviews and I was just like, boom, 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 because I, I got to know it because I sat down and learned it, not just like, ooh, I know JavaScript. Another pro of really understanding how JavaScript works is that you can switch to anything. So once you really understand JavaScript, you can go to Node, you can go to React, you can do, uh, uh, you can do Vue, uh, anything that involves JavaScript, which is a very beautiful world of lots of JavaScript things. You can switch to anything. Like you, you have the world is yours, really, and all you have to do is really get to know really get to know her she's like a sour patch she's sour but once you get to understand it she's really sweet okay now that i've compared javascript to a sour patch and told you how it could be why it's sour than sweet and what you can do to get it sweet first i want to share with you the the resources that i found after a long period of time that helped me get to where I am because I'm not gonna about I'm not about to just tell you guys to learn it and not be like this is what helped me because this is what I'm here for I'm really trying to help you guys so number one this was like I can't this this really just opened up the door and changed me it was like one of those like 360 turns of um my JavaScript code. It was a tutorial on Plural Site called Advanced jQuery um, something something JavaScript by Alexis Abril and Justin Mayer. I know I kind of butchered the title there, but it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna link it. I cannot emphasize this enough. This one was one of my favorites, and to this day, I've been doing JavaScript for five years now, four years, five years. I don't remember anymore. Every now and then, I will go back and watch it just because I want to re-emphasize and make sure that it's fresh, that I know to the T how how she's working, you know? Because it, it's always gonna get, it's only gonna make me stronger. And so this is, this is my stuff here. Just skip the jQuery part and start right after the, Start right after that and that's that's where the meat and potatoes of it is and honestly i you could do it in two days the quick tutorial it's like, okay so tutorial number two or resource number two really anything kyle simpson it's like it's like disney world anytime you see something that has like disney world i'm from i'm from florida so i call things disney world not disneyland but anything that you see that like is like disney you want to buy it right Okay, same way with Kyle Simpson. Anything that is advertised with JavaScript, this yellow little thing with Kyle Simpson next to it, you you sign up for it because that man knows what he's talking about. He's he's really good and he's really he knows how to teach. And I um, picked this as number two, and I didn't put it first of anything Kyle Simpson, is because it's a little bit of advanced. So a lot of things that he teaches are quite advanced like you should be aware of how javascript works before diving into these because if not it's going to be really intimidating because you're not going to know what he's talking about and he goes pretty quick and he kind of assumes that you know stuff so once you watch resource one come to resource two i, I know i said anything kyle simpson but specifically i think it's called um deep js foundation i'll link it as well i think this one's on front end masters instead of not pluralsight i know he also has some books but i'm not i'm not a reader i don't like reading but if you want to if you want to read his book and pick up his book you can do that too but i feel like that's going to take forever so just one of his tutorials or this one or this one that i'm linking below my last tip is when you are coding in JavaScript and you are trying to write something, like you're trying to call a function on an object, or you're trying to manipulate the data, or you're trying to render something. I remember when I was starting off for a long time, I would always kind of Google what I wanted to do or Google keywords, and I would always look at Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow was my best friend. But then I realized that ain't my best friend, especially when it comes to JavaScript. Your best friend when it comes to JavaScript is the Mozilla Docs, okay? I know it's like, oh, they're so like, un like you might 
think that they're not helpful. They really are, okay? They go, let's say you wanna call a function on a string, right? You're trying to, I don't know, remove some letters, right? We are not super memorizing people and you don't need to, so you just go to the Mozilla Docs, you go under the string tab, and you look at all the functions that JavaScript will give you on strings. And it will explain to it to you little by little. And it's not only with strings, it's with objects, it's with HTTP, HTTP, HTTP codes, and there's so much on it. And I wish I knew starting earlier to kind of be a little bit more patient instead of like trying to find the first answer on Stack Overflow and just doing it. Like going to the docs and really finding and engineering my solution through the docs rather than something that I found on Stack Overflow really made the difference because I started to know how like how to use my tools properly. So I'm telling you, take a moment, look at, try to find what you're trying to do on, Mozilla, on the Mozilla JavaScript docs. Look at the function names, look at the objects, try, go search and, and find and read and read patiently and not, don't, don't go straight to trying to find an answer. Really try to understand it because this was also another great tool that I wish I knew before. That's it. That's all that I can provide up to now on tips that I learned that I wish again, that I wish that I knew starting off. Um, it's a quick video, I'm not gonna teach you JavaScript. There's too much out there for me to add more content on that. I, I really wanna provide things that can help you that I wish I did. If you like this video, or if you like JavaScript, or if you like me, if you wanna keep on watching videos, make sure to like this video and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, if you have any tutorials that have helped you, please share it so that other people can also uh, learn from that or I can even learn from it. And me and my beautiful JavaScript will be back next time with more videos. Bye. But, but, but. I don't know where I'm gonna put this in the video, but I'm trying to give you guys tips on what am I doing? Ah! Tripping over myself with my JavaScript. Oh man. <laughs> and we're back.